Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to flash Team Leader on the Samsung Galaxy S2, E120 L, S and K, all three of the Korea variants, so I believe that they are all from Korea, different parts of Asia, etc. So I have um, written up a few guides on XGA developers, or so I wrote them a few months ago, let me find them. Uh, here they are, I am currently on the guide for the E120 L since that is the E120L there. So follow this guide if you have the E120L um, or if you have the E120S or the E120K um, follow both of those guides. I will put all of the um, links below in the description. Um, all of the instructions are exactly the same. The only difference is that the um, actual download file is different. So I don't recommend you know flashing the E120S file on the E120K etc. It shouldn't do any permanent damage if you accidentally do so, though I do not recommend doing it. You are flashing um, your device at your own risk. Um, so let's get stuck into it. I have got a number of different download mirrors on the E120 old listing. There should be a few different mirrors on all of the other listings too. They are all password protected. Um, I found um, these ROMs on a, um, some sort of Asian forum, so I have just um, basically re-uploaded the original files, and that was the original password, uh, koxda.com, so you will need to enter that password after you um, download the um, 7-zip file, I believe it is, and open it up with a program like WinRAR. Um, I have already downloaded the file, or I already have a copy of the file on my desktop here the E120L file, um, download whichever file you need for your device, E120L SOK. So now I am going to extract um, the files using WinRAR. So I'm just going to click OK and it is now going to ask um, for a password. So I am just going to enter the koxda.com password and you're now going to see all of your files um, starting to extract. <coughs> now, when flashing the device, there are a couple of things I recommend doing, you know, sort of in preparation. It is important to plug your micro USB cable to the back of your computer. I never recommend um, flashing devices with the micro USB cable um, plugged into the front of the computer. I also recommend installing Samsung Kai's on your computer if, it, if you don't already have it. Whilst I don't use Samsung Kai's personally, it will um, stop you running into any driver related issues if you have the program installed on your computer. Now let's go back to the guide here for the e 120 l So now that we have um, downloaded, um, or now that we have extracted the file I should um, say, let's take a look at the instructions. So we have unzipped the file using the password. Now we need to run Odin. Odin is, um, Odin is basically used for flashing Samsung devices. So it is used for, you know, flashing the Galaxy S2, the Galaxy S3, the Galaxy Note, etc. It's a very popular program. This is um, Odin version 1.85. There are newer versions of Odin available. This is, however, the um, version that I have used in the past and um, successfully. So I am going to continue using it um, for this particular device and ROM. Um, so now we need to navigate to the PDA file. So let's just follow the instructions to keep it simple so you can follow along. So we need to um, click PDA and to select that file which was included in the zip file. So we basically need to click on PDA and navigate to where you unzipped the files. There will be a file inside of it. In my case it is called PDA under dash team leader version 1.3. This is for the E120L that might have the same name for the E120 S and K or it might be slightly different. I cannot remember though basically double click on that. Now it's important that you don't go around you know changing settings that you don't have to because you can risk you know bricking your device etc. Um, in the options, usually um, only auto reboot and F dot reset timer ticked. It's best um, not to play with any of these other options here unless you know what you're doing. And you usually don't need to use um, PIC files. You usually only need to use a PDA file or you might have two or three different files you need to navigate to here. 
Um, so we have done that. Now let's go back to the instructions. So now we need to connect the um, device to the computer via a micro USB cable and to turn the device off. So I believe that the device is currently turned on. So I'm just going to turn it off now, just the standard way of turning it off. <coughs> Sorry about that. So the device is currently turning off. And once the device has turned off, we need to hold volume down, the home button and the power button simultaneously. Which I will show you in a minute. I might, ha I might um, have to put the camera down for a second. So, okay, let me put the camera down. So hold volume down, home button and power button all at the same time. And you are going to most likely be presented with this screen. So it's in a different language, I don't know if that's Mandarin or whatever, I'm not sure. Then you're going to need to click volume up to enter coal mining mode. Um, and then it will simply be a case of clicking start in Odin. Let me open up Odin. Okay, so see that this part here is um, yellow. Um, basically that means that the device is recognised. If the device is not recognised by Odin, then you do not have the um, drivers installed correctly and you will need to install um, Samsung um, keys or cards, however you pronounce it, if you haven't already gotten it installed. So I should now just um, be able to click start. So just um, quickly going over it, the only thing I needed to do is select the PDA file. I'm now going to click start. You're going to see a few different messages, you know, come here. You can read them if you want. You don't really have to pay any attention to it. You probably won't see too much um, happening on the screen until it actually um, reboots. And you're going to see a few different messages, um, you know, flash at the top here. It usually only takes a couple of minutes um, for the image to flash. And also, if the um, program ever stops responding, just don't touch it. Just um, walk away from the PC, come back in um, 10 minutes time. Whenever Odin stops responding, it usually um, starts responding again, you know, you know, 10, 20 seconds later, really. I've never had any real issues with it where it's frozen and flashed any devices and I have flashed a lot of different devices using Odin in the past um, for work. So yeah, as you can see, nothing's really happening on the screen. I presume that it's currently flashing system. Let's see. Yeah, it's currently flashing system.image.ext4, I believe. Okay, now it looks like the mobile is um, restarting. So you're just going to see the Samsung logo and, you know, um, the boot screen pop up. And it should um, just um, load straight into the ROM. I'm not sure whether or not you will be presented with the setup screen. I cannot remember. Let's take a quick look. You will either be um, in the setup process or you might just jump straight to the home screen. Ah, uh, yep. And you basically bypass um, the whole setup process. Now you need to keep in mind that these ROMs are um, Chinese or Asian ROMs. Um, this device um, was basically sourced from Asia, so the ROMs are Asian. Um, it, they might have a little bit of bloatware in them. Asian bloatware, see a few different Asian applications. Um, they are very easy to remove. Um, to remove them, it is simply a case of um, downloading Titanium Backup. Um, from the, um, you know, Play Store. Um, yeah, I'd pretty much remove most of them, keep Super User on. Um, you might have some difficulty removing the QQ Security app with um, Titanium Backup. And if you have any issues with the keyboard, let me see what keyboard is being used by default. Like if the keyboard doesn't come up initially, just go to Settings, language and keyboard, select input method and just change it from Beidou which is a popular sort of Asian keyboard to um, swipe so then when you go back to um, messaging you should just have a normal um, you know keyboard though I personally you know recommend downloading a third-party keyboard any anyhow like Swift Key X um, 
which is pretty much the best Android keyboard available. So there might be a couple of teething issues with this ROM initially due to it being an Asian ROM. Though if you had the um, SMS character issue where it was limiting your messages to like 60, 80, 90 characters etc. That will now be removed and you will be able to um, you know, do a, you know, a full text message, 160 characters, so it's definitely worth flashing. Um, so that, that is it for this video really. Um, if you have any questions then feel free to ask me in the comment section below or in the relevant um, forum um, thread on XDA developers. And if you're asking questions, you know, be sure to mention whether you are trying to flash um, the E120L, the E120S or the E120K. So that is it for this video. Like the video if it has helped you. Um, yeah, ask me any, any um, questions if you have any. And thanks for watching.